Good morning to you all. Thank you for coming bright and early on a Saturday morning. Truly appreciate your presence on this great occasion. IAGB India Association of Greater Boston is been celebrating India's Independence Day for the last 30 plus years. We used to do in a big way in Hatchell, then we moved to the Boston Town Plaza. 15,000 plus people used to attend. Because of the situation that we are in today with COVID, instead of having the people come to Boston in large gathering, we decided let's go to the towns and have the function and celebrate in each of the towns. So we are so pleased to inform the 35 plus towns in the state of Massachusetts and neighboring states as well. We are celebrating the 74th Independence Day celebration of India. I welcome you again. I welcome you again for this occasion. Um, I would like to invite um, Diksha Krishnan. She's a raising junior at Hopkinton High School to sing the American National Anthem first, followed by the Indian National Anthem. Diksha, would you come? So proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in. That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Jana gana mana adina. Jaya he Bharat Bhagya Vidata Punjab Sindh Gujarata Maratha Ravida Utkala Banga Vindya Hima Chala Yamuna Ganga Utchala Jala Ditaranga Tava Shubana Me Jage Tava Shubha Ashisha Maage Gahe Tava Jaya Gata Jana Gana Mangala Dayaka Jaya He Bharat Bhagya Vidata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 He Thank you, Diksha, for nicely rendering the national anthem. Now I would like <laughs> now I would like to welcome Louise Jackson to come and say a few words, please. Good morning, everybody. Um, it was an honor to me when Guru asked me at the Parks and Rec Commission meeting um, two weeks ago, if I could come speak about um, um, your national day, of your, India's national day, and also um, about my experiences in India. I've been to India twice. Um, it was a life-altering um, trip, and it, it truly changed me to recognize the diversity of cultures within India itself. It is an amazing country, and I travel mostly over the Rajasthan state and southern part of um, India. And it was, to me, I found the people so beautiful, um, so kind in such a very tight-knit community that is very close. People live um, 
in, in small quarters, but the, the communities are very busy. Um, there's a lot of traffic and people still had time to be kind to each other. And I, I found that as I spent the first month in India that the people overall were incredibly kind. Um, and as an animal lover, I was surprised to see how animals um, were respected so highly. So for me, that, of course, um, struck me very strongly. And then also just the beauty of India. Um, the clothing, um, the people were so beautiful. I, I found it um, such an amazing place in, in the energy and the history. and um, it, It's a, such a rich country. Um, and the food. <laughs> I, I ate my way through India and I still enjoy Indian food, uh, Indian food, but not like um, when I was in India. The food was uh, amazing. Whether you went to a street vendor or you went to a hotel restaurant or a regular outdoor restaurant alongside the road or whatever, um, it was just absolutely beautiful. And um, I was so grateful to come and speak on behalf of the Hopkinton Parks and Recreation about um, the Indian culture and Indian Independence Day because I, I love India and I think, I think it's such a beautiful country and I love that we have a strong Indian community in Hopkinton. I think it's, it's added so much to our diversity in the community and we're learning about each other and realizing that we have more common ground than different ground, but we truly have made a, a wonderful community with um, all diverse cultures in our community. And, and I'm so grateful that we have so many of you from India living in our community and sharing your culture and sharing yourselves with us. And um, with that said, thank you and happy India, India Independence thank Day. You so so <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lisa, for those nice words. Um, now I would request select board member Amy to come and say a few words. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming. Um, on behalf of the Hopkinton Select Board, I'd like to wish everyone a happy India Independence Day. Hopkinton is, um, in recent years has become one of the Boston suburbs with a, a large Indian population. We'd like to welcome everyone and um, we're happy to learn about your culture and, um, and to celebrate Indian Independence Day here on the Common and encourage you to uh, get involved in town, um, involved in town government. We'd love to opening some doors in the city. And um, it's truly an honor to be here today. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Let's see if anybody else wants to come and say a few words. So thank you everyone for coming. As Lisa and Amy said, and, and what Guru said, every year we have a huge celebration with 15,000 people in Boston. And this year we couldn't do that. So this is great. What the uh, India Association of Greater Boston is doing is going to 30 towns and uh, doing the flag hoisting. This makes us feel, uh, you know, a part of uh, that we are not missing out. And uh, really, uh, that the entire community. The community of Hopkinton is, it has made us feel so welcome. And Lisa, I agree with you. This is only increasing the diversity, making people more uh, enjoy more food, more color, and uh, more cultural experiences. So uh, thank you for coming, and thank you, Diksha. That was a wonderful rendition of both the U.S. and the Indian national anthem. And happy Independence Day. Thank you. Thank you, Meena. Now I would call my fellow India Association of Greater Boston Directors. Thank you, Guru. And thank you so much. What a beautiful day here, right? Love the story that Lisa you had to share. Uh, I guess the one thing that I always say here, right? I mean, the, the countries are built on the connects that people have. And it's just amazing if you just look at it how. US and India can find those connections. I mean, just, just there is a vibrancy. There is a connection between the folks from India and folks from the US. I mean, that's very visible. 
very nice and it's crystal clear. Now, um, so not only just thank you for today coming in here, but don't forget that Uh, a very nice celebration all the time in City Hall Plaza and all. We are going to have a similar thing tonight. So it's a four hours effort. It's a 6.30 to 10.30 in the evening. And uh, we are having some phenomenal names coming there and talking. So we are going to have Senator Markey, Congressman Kennedy. We are having a recorded message from Governor Baker. So it's, it's just a time to really celebrate it in a real big fashion. So we hope to see you all in this evening. Let me say thank you again to Lisa, to Amy for coming up, for showing support, to all of you for being here. Truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Because we complete the celebration for today. Thank you all very much. Have a great day.